If for some reason you are not able to see the name of the host, your server name on the infrastructure, when you are logged into your Datadog account, or for some reason you are getting a 403 error or unable to send telemetry, this video is for you. If the error you are facing is not listed here, you might as well watch. First, log into your Web01 server and check the status of your Datadog API with this command. If you are getting this kind of error or any other kind, open the Datadog error log file with a file editor or cat the contents of the file with this command. That should point you to the right place to start. Then, to solve the issue, we will make sure to use our API key to install Datadog. Go to your account dashboard, click on search, enter a API key, select it, copy the key, or create one if you have not created one already. Back to your server, paste the installation command. Replace the plentiful X with your Datadog API key you just copied or created. Press enter. Datadog should install without no problem. Check the status of your Datadog with this command. Next, we open the Datadog YAM file with a text editor. To make sure that out API if you key have is the updated. obfuscated strings as API key, erase it and paste your API key. Save and exit. Restart the Datadog. Wait a few minutes. Go to your account dashboard. Select infrastructure. Check if host is showing. Since host is not showing on the infrastructure yet, we will go back to our server and we will check if Datadog is indeed retrieving the host name. By default, Datadog retrieves the host name and display it on the infrastructure, but our server environment might prevent it from doing so. We will have to manually set a host name in the Datadog YAM file. First, we use the grep command to check for the line number that contains the host name in the Datadog YAM file. When we find it, we will uncomment it because it is commented by default. With this command, we see that the host name is commented and on line 88, we will open the file, uncomment it, and paste our server name. But first, we will retrieve our server name and copy it with this command. Open the Datadog YAM file, set number, go to line 88, uncomment it. Replace host name with our server. Restart Datadog. Check Datadog status. Wait a minute or two. Go back to dashboard. Check if host is available. If you still cannot see the host on infrastructure. Next is to check the permission of the API key used in installing Datadog. By default, API keys do not have their own permissions. They inherit the permissions of the user, which is you or myself. So we will go to check our permission by searching for settings. Go to profile. Then make sure that everything is selected. Access management permission, log management permission, monitor permission, metrics permission. After selecting all the permissions, search for API create a new key because the already existing keys would have the previous permissions. Then copy the new key, go back to the server, use it to install Datadog again. Open Datadog YAM file, update the new key, restart Datadog, like and subscribe if this helped you.